Yo, what is good, Samuel Squad? Back at it again with another video here today, man. We're going to be talking about rookie premieres, man. I know there's a lot of sets here, and it might get confusing, you know, which set you should focus on and how you should get the cards. But I'm going to explain that here today, you know, just to help you guys out a little bit. But before we get into that, make sure you guys like the video, sub to the channel, and put post notifications on if you want to see more videos just like this. And the winner of the 500k and under card of your choice is Kamani Thompson. Um, Kamani, make sure you, you know, comment on the comment that I added you on and let me know what your Twitter is so I can get to you and figure out what console you're on and what card you want. So, and you know, congrats on Kamani, man. He's always on all my videos. He's always in all my streams. I think this might be his first dub. I could be wrong, but I think this is his first giveaway win. So congrats to you, man. Love the support. But now we're going to get into these rookie premieres, man. And also, I will be having a golden ticket giveaway too. So... We're going to have to remember that one too. I got to figure out how I'm going to be giving that card away, but that will be soon for you guys as well. So, um, let's see. So at how I'm looking at this, man, I've kind of gone by cost and also kind of by sets. Now, again, you know, there isn't really, you know, a t an order. I kind of have it in an order, you know, best to worst, but like, you know, it really comes down to, you know, what cards you have in your binder, what sets you've already completed, you know, it comes down to a lot of different things. So I'm just going to give you guys my opinions. So obviously the Mutt Master Completion, this is the easiest one. This is the best one, you know. Um, hopefully everybody got their full Pat Tillman, you know. Um, if you got the Mutt Master Completion Collectible, this is an easy rookie premiere. Or you can get a golden ticket, you know, and you could sell the one that you might have auction mall and put it as a nat on your team and use that for um, rookie exchanges. But I think this is obviously it's the best one. It's like the free one. I mean... You know, other than, you know, um, your rewards, your demand rewards, the, these those two are just free uh, rookie premieres. So the next one that I think is the best, I personally think that the 96 to 99, and the thing is I have a lot of these, but the thing is this is like the best one because, again, you can go on the auction block right now and you can get a 96, 90, probably 97 or a 98. They're about, you can get them 55, 60K. I'd say you could probably get them for 55K. And so if you get three of them, that's how much you need for the set. That'd be, you know, about 160, 165, you know, 180 if you're getting them at 60K. But you get six tokens from this set. So basically, you know, say you double, you can do the set twice, which is the thing that kind of sucks. You can do it twice. But if we think about it like that, man, let's just say, you know, 165 per set. That would be coming out to, you know, about 330K in total and you get 12 tokens. So that is a full rookie premiere, and you have two leftover tokens, and it's only for 330k. I think that is the best set for your value right now because these cards are kind of going for cheap. So definitely look into this set. That's my first set that you should be looking into. The next one, I actually really like this set too because again, you know, how I said um, in one of my videos, it was a method for a little while. I think the 93s have gone down a bit. I do think I have full on this account. But I think the rookie premieres are down to like maybe like 22k each. Maybe you can even snag them for 20, these 93 overalls. And, you know, that comes out to, you know, if you were to buy, you know, I think you'd have to get 20 for this. This is also repeatable. I put this set up top because it is repeatable. You can do this as many times as you want. So that's why it's at the top of the list as well. But if you could get them for, you know, 20, 22k, you're going to be spending, you know, anywhere from, you know, about 400 to... What would that be? Maybe like 420-ish? Um, maybe 440. I'm not exactly sure. Uh, 440, yeah. 400 to 440K. But also what you can do, which is I, I kind of advise you to do, especially if you're just trying to you know have some fun and rip some packs. Again, I think I already ripped the packs on this account, which I probably did did yeah so you can go to this it would cost you 500k but you get 20 of these for 500k so that means you get enough for one whole rookie premiere and you also get all the leftover cards too you get the silvers you get the golds you get all the elites so you know this anyway i would say that you know getting that 93 set done you know especially pulling those packs you could probably get it done for 400k selling all the elites and other stuff because silvers have been going up for a little bit um, there's a lot of cards you could pull out of that pack that will, you know, decrease how much you actually spend on those packs. So I would say this one you could get done for probably 400k, and that's a full rookie premiere. Again, it's pretty good. Again, it's not as good as this one. This one, I again, I think it is just the best set out right now. This one is more fun. You know, you can just pull 500k in packs. You know, 
get a full rookie premiere and then you also can sell the cards or do it you also can do this set with the cards you pull from those packs i talked about this in the um coin making video when it was a thing you when you pull those packs you get enough for this set too so basically you're getting an extra you know rookie premiere token as well when you pull those packs so you know the 500k goes into a lot of extra stuff not just the this set with the 93s you get extra cards that can go into other sets so next one i'm gonna have this one right here now this is gonna be 393 to 95 it's repeatable five times you get two tokens so this will be a full rookie premiere now again you know this is gonna be a lot of buying of cards if you want to you know get this one done um let me see exactly my math that i had done so i think these are going for about what was it 35 yeah 35 so comes out to about a hundred and five thousand per set so you'd have to do this one five times so that would come out to you know again that would come out to about a five hundred and twenty five thousand coins you know to get this one done but again at the end of the day though i think you get them cheaper i think you could probably get them for 30k each so it'd be 90 about 450k if you could get them for 30k each which is definitely doable for these so I think you get these done for you know about 450, 500 again. That's coming out kind of to the price of this one. That's why I had this one above it because when you drop 500 into this, into those um, packs in the store for 25K, you get a full rookie premiere and you could also get a bunch of other cards on top of it. So that's why this one, you know, this is 450 to 500, but you don't have any extra cards. You just get one rookie premiere. So that's why this one is next. The next one on the list will be this 85 to 89, which I maxed out instantly on my main account just for the fact that I had a bunch of 85s in my binder. I literally was able to, this is four times, I was able to do this all four times, just max it out completely. You only get one rookie premiere token, but the math on this, I have an 85 going for about 2K. So you can get this done 30K for one rookie premiere badge. So at the end of the day, you know, you're getting four of these done, that'd be 120,000 for four rookie premiere tokens, pretty good. You know, if you multiplied this one by 10, by 30K, how much it costs, that'd be 300K for a full rookie premiere, but you could only do this one four times. That's why it's kind of at the end of the list. It's a really good one, you know, if you wanna get, you know, a few extra rookie premiere uh, tokens that you need, this is a really good one to do. And lastly, I had this one. This is another one that I maxed out on my main account, believe it or not, with the eight repeatable times. Now, a 90 overall, I think you get these for about 9K in the market right now. So that's costing you about 45K per set. Now you can do this eight times. You know, if you multiplied 45 by 10, if you could potentially get 10 tokens, which you can, that'd be 450K. But you can only get eight. So eight times 45 or 45 what was that about um 370,000 ish so 370,000 you know for eight tokens again that's not bad it's going to take you a lot of time to get all the 90 overalls for this but it's pretty good and that's really all the sets that I had rated you know all the other ones this one it's 45 cards you're not going to go and buy every card off the auction lot especially this one's only two it's repeatable twice now what I said though, is when you pull that 25K pack in the store for these 93 overalls, you can get one of these completed. You can get this completed off of one of those 25K packs. If you pull all 20 of the 25s for 500, you get a rookie premiere and you'll get enough cards to usually finish this set as well. So it's an extra badge. This is more of a binder clear. Like if you wanna get rid of you know a bunch of stuff in your binder, this is a good set for that. That's why I didn't really put in the ranking because it's kinda not something you're gonna go and buy all the cards for um let me see what else did i not rank i think that would be oh this one this one don't even touch this one unless you're you know for whatever some reason getting these for super cheap man these are going for about 30k each so okay now maybe they're down to 25 but when i let last time i checked they were 30k each even 25 that's 75k you know for one token <sighs> I don't think that's really worth it. You know, it's closing in almost on 100K. You know, I mean, it's still 25K off, but I, I think that this is probably the worst one. You know, you might as well just use your coins if you want to do these other ones. You're getting more tokens, you know. Like this one right here, man, I think, what did we say? This one, you could probably get 90K for two tokens. This one's 75K for one. 
So if that, you know, kind of puts it into perspective, you want to be very careful. I would not even touch this one if I were you guys. But let me also give you guys just a quick few tips on another, like a few things that you can do to get the cards for these sets. Now, give me one second. All right, everybody. So we're back at it, man. And I just want to show you guys, you know, just a few finesses, you know, again, this is, you know, training is very expensive right now. Cards are on the rise. But the Theme Diamond 2 set, man, I'm still really liking this set, especially for the rookie premieres. You know, these are just a few ways that you can get some cards pretty easily. Now, again, this is an 88 overall. I'd probably, I'd probably just quick sell this. Or not quick sell it. I'd put it in the set, the 88 to 80 or 90. Because, you know, you can get 90s out of this set for that 90 rookie premiere. You can get 85s and 86s. Now, this is an 87. It's kind of pushing it again i'll put this in the specialist if you guys haven't seen this video it's definitely somewhere in my videos on um, the theme diamond 2.0 method you know where you're going for specialists and see an 89 dang we're actually getting some really good pulls out of this guys i'm not gonna i'm gonna put in the specialist again we're trying to make the specialist because there are a few specialists that go for a lot and you don't have to buy any 93s for that you just you get all the cards from bro I'm trying to give you guys like an example, you know, just of some 85s. Because if you get an 85 out of here, you can put it in the rookie premiere set. Um, if you get a 90 out of here, you can put it in the rookie premiere set. You know, the ones that I've already talked about. Um, now, the 80s, for you guys, you know, I think if you guys have seen my video before, we put the 80s and one out in the random combine standout. And once we get two of those, we put them in the conqueror token set for 10k. It's a good way to you know get your coins back from you know low overall cards that you're not gonna want to just go and sell. Um, is this 85? 85. Awesome. So we got an 85. This could go right into the rookie premiere set. Obviously, I've already maxed it out. I think that I think it's the one on the bottom. Maybe I'm not sure, but I've already maxed it out. But this is a good way to get 85s. It's a good way to get 90s. Again, you can exchange other stuff to get 85s and 90s. You know, those were two of the sets that I did highlight. You know that they were good um also if you guys like the draft player set again you get an 86 you can put these 86s into that 85 plus draft set as well so those are some good you know little finesse routes you know again like i said you know for the 85 um let's see it oh yeah see i've already maxed these out so the 85 you can put all your 85s in here you can put all your you know 90 pluses in here we just go 90s i would not put 91s in here just put your 90s and I still have a lot of rookie premieres that I still got to get. I'm probably going to do this set a few more times. But again, do not touch this one. As you can see, I haven't even, I haven't, I might have done this one once because I had the cards on me. And I wasn't really thinking about it. And this one, I think I have, yeah, I'm halfway to getting another one of these done. So again, you know, that's the best rookie premiere sets in my opinion. Again, um,. You know, the Theme Diamond 2.0, really good set to get a bunch of those cards. Even the draft one, if you like risking it with the draft, you can always put 86s in there. Again, we're going to do a few Ultimate Legend Career Editions. You know, I, I love these sets. I'm going to probably do these at the end of all my videos from now on, just at least two of them. Just to see what we can get, man, if we get a hype pull. Again, we got a 99 Reggie White in yesterday's video. 99 Walter Payton. Now... I don't know how much Walter Payton even goes for anymore nowadays. I'm assuming maybe in the mid to 200s, maybe. Maybe close to 300 if we're lucky. But that's a 99, man, and it's a bear. So you love to see that. Again, these are the biggest hit or miss pack in the game. So you got to be careful with these. If you see me pulling 99s, don't go out and just, you know, buy a bunch of them and try them. Because you can get pulls like this. Now, again, this was a bear, but I'm still kind of pissed because it's a 96 overall. But we got our 99 Walter, so can't even be mad man but yeah if you guys have any questions about the rookie premieres those are just kind of my opinions on the sets so far all right yeah again i had to cut that off because again we have a golden ticket that i'm giving away i don't want you guys to see what it is walter payton's going for you know about you know 220k so we're gonna get 200k back from him so i mean that is profit but it's again you know it's this set costs a lot to do now guys it's costing about 150k so at the end of the day we ended up losing 50k on you know those two pulls together not bad but not good so that's gonna be all for today's video again you know i just wanted to give you guys some opinions on the sets i hope it helps you guys you know determine what you guys should be focusing on what you guys should be doing 
Again, the Theme Diamond 2.0 is a good way to get 85s, a good way to get 90s. You know, a good way, and you exchange everything else, you know, the 80 to 82s go into the Random Combine Standout. 83, 84 is Random Combine Standout. Once you get two of those, you get a Conqueror token that you can quick sell for 10k. And then, you know, everything else, you know, I'd say 87 and higher, I just, you know, exchange. In the spe Team of the Year Specialist set, you can get the Fullback, the Kicker, the Punter, those guys are all going for a good bit. You know, most of the cards are going for about 30k from there, so it's pretty lit, and you can get all the cards from this Theme Diamond 2.0 set. You don't have to buy anything off the auction. Now, the Draft Player set, very risky. Again, you know, I'm just giving you guys a quick heads up. Very risky set, but you can put the 86s into, you know, they also have sets, you know, for the Draft Players. I'll show you this real quick, and then we'll be done. But because I know this is getting to be a kind of a long video, but you can go here and you can also put, you know, your 86s in here, get a 95 for the sets. You know, you could put your cards in here for a 96 if you want to put your 90s in here. Put them in here and get a 96 overall. It's all up to you, man. It's all up to what sets you have left in the rookie premieres and also, you know, what packs and stuff you are pulling to get these cards. You can also just straight up buy stuff off the auction. I gave you all some prices for those. But that is going to be it for the video. I hope it helps you guys out, you know, determining on what rookie premieres you want to do and what are the best routes for you guys to do with the amount of coins you have now. Um, Kamani Thompson, man, when you see this video, man, you did win the 500k and under giveaway. So make sure, you know, let me know what your Twitter username is and I'll DM you on there to get your counsel and your pick. So congrats on that W, man. And I think that's going to be all for the video. Again, guys, make sure to like the video, sub to the channel, and put post notifications on. I'll see you guys in the next video or stream. It has been real. Peace.